earlier on to get to the run game and a good job. Mm -hmm. What were they doing with Justin Fields? Uh, they were doing everything we expected on film. Uh, they brought a lot of pressures, but uh, I think our offensive line handled it well, and uh, we, we adjusted to it. Clay, Justin, your ability to get in and out of the pocket to, to find your way out, you know, just, uh, are you, that's a learned skill. It comes with athletic ability. How do you think uh, you're progressing on that? A lot of yeah. escapes tonight. This is God given ability. I mean, I, I've been able to do it since I was uh, little. So um, I just um, kind of try to escape what, when I have to and, and stay in the pocket. So uh, of course, when I have to escape, I'll, I'll escape and try to uh, open up the throwing. Do you feel the rush better now than you used to? Of course. I mean, just just the amount of experience I, I think I've had in games and practice. I think I've definitely uh, feel fill out the pocket. You gotta plug that back in, Mike. <laughs> Austin. <laughs> Justin, how, uh, how quickly you guys turn the page to Wisconsin now? No audio. Um, Sunday, I mean, I, I don't think we have anything to do tomorrow, but um, Sunday we'll go in and watch the tape, uh, see what we need to improve on, and then um, on from there we'll, we'll start focusing on Wisconsin. Steve? Well, when you are scrambling in the pocket, obviously you know how long scramble is, you can buy time down there, but how long are you giving yourself before you do take off on some of the things that you did today? It just depends on what play it is, really, the down and distance. I mean, if it's third and five, and there's uh, five yards in front of me where I can go. Do I pick up the first down? I think I did it on the first drive, maybe. So uh, just stuff like that. So it's just uh, different, different um, instances in where I I can stay in the pocket, scramble around, throw it, and then uh, other instances where I have to take it down and run. Mm -hmm. Joey, Sam, Justin, it seemed like at halftime the yeah. kick that Blake made really gave you guys a lot of energy uh, running into the locker room. Just yeah. what was that like for you guys to finish that first half on such a statement? Uh, I think that was a big going into the second half. Um, I think it kind of gave the team uh, juice because this this stadium, of course, this is not like our home stadium. I think, uh, the, of course, the fans fans uh, showed up here, but I, I think that kick definitely uh, gave, gave the team momentum going, going into the second half. Nathan, all the way in the back. The uh, play late in the first quarter, um, you guys had empty backfield, and then they had you, you had to bait the sack, and you got the completion on third down. Can yeah. you guys take us through what you saw on that play, how that developed? Yeah, so uh, they were running drop eight, so I, I knew I'd have a lot of time in the pocket, and then that I would have to kind of scramble and buy time because uh, it was just straight zone. So uh, I mean, I just uh, did, did what I was taught in the practice, and then just just worked out. So so I, I think we did a great job executing on that play. As far as just keeping your eyes downfield, is that something that you would have been able to do that well week one? Uh, no, not really. The, the situation was like third and 15, drop eight. I mean, you're not going to be able to run for the first down. So your, your only choice is to throw for the first down or just throw the ball away in that, that instance. Rob. The slant to JK for the touchdown. Was that a wrinkle that was put in? Has that been in there all, all year? Or is that one of their off week deals um, that you guys? Uh, well, we just game planned it for the game. So we'll put in different uh, plays for, for each game. So that was so what? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, so, so we just uh, game planned it and uh, just, just watched the film and Coach Day saw that it was a great play to run against him. So uh, we, we did practice it a lot in the bye week and um, it, it definitely play, paid off in the game. Patrick. Speaking of JK, when he gets going, especially after kind of a slow start, what does that do to help open up the rest of the offense? Uh, I mean, it opens the rest of the offense. I think it definitely opens up the receivers on the outside. Uh, so when JK gets going and then, then they have to put more people in the box, it definitely uh, gives us one-on-one -on -one matches on the outside. So uh, it, I definitely like it when he uh, starts to open up a little bit. I just want to ask you one question. On the opening drive, I think it was a third and eight. It looked like you called an audible at the line. You handed it to JK, boom, you got the first down. Is that mm -hmm. what happened? Did you walk, walk me through that play? Uh, yeah, so um, Coach just had us look back on that certain play. And uh, just he's, he's him and Coach Yerses are pretty much looking at the look that we get from the box. So um, I just looked to the sideline and just did my job, really. I mean, this is nothing big. We just checked the play to JK. Justin, did you want to make it a point to get Olave involved early after that game two weeks ago for him? Uh, no, not really. I mean, of course, we have great receivers all around. So um, some some receivers might might get the ball uh, in, a, in a game a lot, and some receivers, receivers might not. So it's really just uh, based on the play and uh, who, who's in at, at the time. More back here. Justin, I think it was about third and four. He took that deep shot to Ben. Mm -hmm. What was the conversation like with him in the sideline after that and Coach Day? Or Coach yeah, that was my fault. I, I just have to give Ben a chance. Uh, I thought he was faster than that, but apparently not. But, uh, <laughs> nah, but yeah, that, that's just me. I have to uh, just, just give him a chance on that. Just got time for one more if anyone's got anything. Good. All right.
Thank you.